we are in February now. We decided to sort of skip over to February because it's getting dark in there. So we didn't have time to do what we plan on doing and we dropped some pallets. No worries, it needs to be quickly picked up. So, short, this is for a over. Yeah, we've got some products to sell. Actually, since we're doing this, we have made the decision to stop doing. Oh, which one was it? Pepper grinders? Yeah, pepper grinders, just because. I mean, yeah, you get the same amount of pepper grinders versus bowls. But if you go into the prices, if you go down and have a look, bowls you get about. 5 8 ish. I actually think they're worth more at the Elm Creek uh, compared to 4 grand. So, really, our average is use our materials and do bowls rather than pepper grinders. But we'll solve the last bit of products actually. Yeah, got some tree transport contracts to do. If we go to our productions, a sec. We still got some pepper grinder, so it's, we'll need those. Then I get to another full pallet, and then as soon as that's done, we'll go ahead and stop it. But yeah, also today it is just to get some mowing done. Well, at least that's going to be the aim for this, today's episode. Oh, why are you flipping over? Yeah, right, fine, go on there. Go on top. Go back a bit. There we go. So, yes, I thought about getting sheep today. Well, whether we'll get sheep today depends on how we're good with the mowing and that. And to us, if the snow settles today, we will leave it till March because, yeah, we've got enough materials for all the things we need. So, yeah, that's another good old tinker in there. We do have some metal to sell. We've got metal to sell, we've got some tree transport contracts to do as well in the meantime. I don't know why you are. Why you are get past that? Fine. So I'm going to move this over a bit. Is that better for you now, cars? Nope. You picky sods. Yeah, look at our fine metal stacking skills. Ah, uh, we just. Run away! Nothing to see there. Nothing to see at all. Phew. I think we got away with that. And sorry about the sort of sudden jump to the episode. I like, don't know what's going on lately with sort of recording on the PlayStation. So, you know, I sort of set records, wait a couple of seconds, and then do speaking or whatever I need to do. But lately, it sort of seems to be even missing those seconds. So, not too sure. But, anyways. Here we are at Grassfield. Yeah, interesting textures grasses here. Not sure if we could go over to the right bit more. I think it seems like where the front of the mower is, it's like what is camps as grass. But it's not your like your typical plant grass or even your your metal grass we see on other maps and that is like I think it's based on the climate and that, so the grass can't get as mature, as green as you would hope, but... But, anyway, so, yeah. And I think sheep needs hay, right, not grass? Was it hay or grass? These little trees are in the way. So we're an issue right on the property line here as well. Ashes. I'll quick look here. So go to 
animals is hay or grass, so... Yep, hay or grass. And honestly, I think you can put the bigger one down, put a nice big one down here. May have to cut a couple of trees down. Yeah, I've got access to those trees there, so... Yeah, cut that down. Unless we cut this down, and uh, we literally take them over to, uh, what's it, the furniture factory, the oil and production to get some furniture made. Could do that. But yeah, I'll just get all of this done. I'm not worried about getting these little bits here that we miss between the pylons. So I think whatever we're going to get is going to be more than enough, I think, for the sheep and that. So yeah, we will continue on with this, and I'll see you folks when we are done. just make it quicker picking up. Also I have got the tree harvester down from the old sawmill, I've got the wheel loader down and I've got our TLX with the trader on. Because yeah, cut some new trees down and hopefully, yeah, because I want to build a little yard here, like the sheep pen here and if possible get a shed or two in. So if we create a, like, a little mini yard here, then at least we can store our mowing equipment. Also enough space to create some fences. So obviously to fence off the property in there. But yeah, we're not putting any size generative into here as we could potentially do. That's because all of this is going to be for the sheep. Whether it's going to be too much or what, I have absolutely no idea whatsoever. I think this is like a 250,000 litre capacity as well, so... Or 200,000 litre, not too sure. Yeah, I think 200,000 litres. Find out once we get to 10%. Yeah, about 200. Yeah, 200,000 litre capacity, so... But yeah, already we're getting quite a bit of grass from this. Potentially we could get more grass, theoretically, if we plow this up, fertilise it, plant grass and then fertilise it again. Get the double fertiliser application state and all that, but... Well, I actually want to, I like the look of the grass here, it sort of blends in with the environment and my worry is if you plant the grass in, then it'll just look too out of the... Yeah, it looks a bit out of character, if that makes sense. Like, it's like kind of withered grass. Well, it's not withered, it's just a bit... It's this green, it's this... Like, American Picket Fence green. 
kind of grass, if you know what I mean. You know, like the old American dream, you know, white picket fence, nice fresh green lawns, all that. Or any say makeshift towns that you can get in the USA nowadays, um, where basically developers come in and just pretty much slather the land with properties, with some nice green fences, or, or not green fences, green lawns in that. But yeah, it's not that, it's more, yeah, it's just, it's based on the plan, like, especially now where it's winter, less UV lights getting to the plants, so less time for the plants to photosynthesize. It's still healthy and still good enough for my sheeps. Or to be sheeps. Do these regrow? I don't know because we're not getting any kind of growth from this. Because this is meadow grass, so. Yep, yeah, field info's turned on and all that, so. Yeah, I'm not too sure, but. I'm not too fast. And in terms of if this is going to be enough grass for us, we'll find out once we get the sheep in. I think if we can get the sheep in sometime in February, because in March, hopefully the same boat is going to be done, or at least very close to being done. It's got all the materials it needs now, it's just them taking their time to build it, so. It's out of my hands now. I've applied all the materials they required. And also in March, I'll start looking at selling my materials like the metal and that. But what I do usually, I'll go to the road coaster and see what they need. Because we are on the next step. I think it's step 2 now. Of the first stage. Because first stage is steps 1 to 4. Yeah, we're on step two now, so getting our sober the road coaster and I can actually have a look at it afterwards because it's actually coming along very nicely. Surprisingly. And there we go. Last bit of grass. So yeah, just over a hundred thousand years. Man, I'll have made a good bit of silage, but I think we're not here to make silage at the moment. This is purely for the sheep, then once we can once we get sheep and get them in, then we can establish what is roughly it's worth and all that, so can we hit a hundred and ten thousand litres? Yes we can, I think. Just about. Oh, it's going to be close. Oh, just shy of 110,000 litres of grass. But yeah, I am happy with that. But yeah, I do love this TARDIS. So we'll put you over here for now. If I park, actually, if I park this where the property line is, do you know what? You can just go somewhere here for now. It's hard to feel the weight of you. It is sort of. It's not struggling to pull its weight, but getting there. So, a bit further up. Like up to here, I think. So yeah, there is the property line to the river, so all this we can knock down. And actually, I think, rather than sell the metal on that, because we need about 100 grand, or well, at most 99 grand for the sheep's pen, if we go with that particular one. Again, I'm still not too sure. Make sure we're at 6 meter lengths. Oops. Cut it down to six meter lengths, and I think, yeah, we'll get a container or two. 
and we can sell them potentially. So that's 6 meter length log. Nope, 4.4 .4 meters, so you, mister, are going to go over here. Or not an Ascar tree. So actually, technically, we don't own the day, so. Good bit of information to know. Into position. Go a bit lower. Down like so. So yeah, we've got quite a bit of trees to cut down. I think yeah, if we say cut down to uh, yeah, at least here where it starts to get a bit more dense, then we get the mulcher, mulch most of these down if we're allowed to, depending on where the exact property line is. And again. Little strikey bits will go over there. So yeah, we will continue on with this. This won't take us too long. Get them loaded up. Get a container. Yeah, I think yeah. Actually, what is the difference in prices of wood? Where is wood to? I've gone past it. Yep. So, looking at the prices of wood. Elm Creek here is three grand, so. Yep, we'll get containers because obviously we can make an extra 20% profit on that. Even when we include the factor cost of the said container itself. So yeah, we'll see all of this, and I'll see you folks when we're done. Somewhere where we get a fur container if there's enough to justify it, which I very much doubt. But any extra woods that we have here, 
But if Phoenix is going to be enough for a container, we'll just shove the rest into the only one production to help with a bit of furniture and that. It's a bit of an awkward, janky way of getting them in, but come on. It says I've got two pieces of logs underneath me which aren't helping. Fine. Go on, let me free. Go the other way around. But yeah, that is quite a bit of timber work we've done. Not too much, we didn't do up to the edge. We may do it, well, we may do it in the next episodes, possibly, or next episodes or two. And that's already filled up. No, it's about, it's just over, it looks nearly filled up, it's actually just over halfway. Fair enough. And make sure we don't pick no straggly ends that we don't need. So it will cost us about five grand. So yeah, and theoretically, if we get all this both filled up to the max with no odd pieces, we should get about a hundred and seventy grand, which will be more enough for the sheep pens and the sheep and even the sheds themselves. And covered all the leasing costs and all that because we did lease that trailer because the other one's got, got all the metal one. Completely forgot about that. So, and the logging trailer is at, so uh, where is it to? Uh, by the old sawmill, ready for the log transport contract. But yeah, so it makes me think perhaps we can have sort of again expand even more. You fill it up now. Oh, you are. Fair enough. If that's the case then, we'll go to you. Also, before we can place like, the sheep pens out, we do need to do a bit of rock picking. And to pick up the rocks, rather than the disposition away with the bucket and that, Actually, I'm going to use that forager pickup there. We will need a trader, so I think it's about getting a decent, okay, possibly second hand trader if there's anything to use the market, which I very much doubt. Oh, that is good. The, yeah, GL860 multi planter. Not the best discounts, so that was it. Yeah, 37%. Even the cotton harps are a 40% discount. So tempted. Yeah, I thought about doing cotton, getting the cotton fabric and all that in, but... Yeah, it's just... Getting salt is not worth it, which doesn't have the land to justify the cost in that. But in terms of apple farm, I think at one point we will do apple farm, we'll get it fills one, two balls. We'll bit, I'll say we'll merge them together, get a nice bigger field. Bit of a larger acreage. Luckily we just got across there because the train's on its way down. So we just went in the door this side to our left. But yeah, these contain. <laughs> oh, I thought, what's that? The lover was there hanging about. And that will stamp on, in theory. I said that will stamp on, in theory. There we go. 
But yeah, so I will continue on this quickly off camera, get zoomed up, and then I'll meet folks back once we're done and take this to the container yard at the old sawmill. So, alright, we've got three containers full of six meter logs and I cut a few extra logs down just to help with the oil one production to get the furniture on the way because I do want to give them a bit of a healthy supplies worth of timber so obviously got the little tail ends also eight new logs oh don't tip no 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 don't tip don't tip don't tip there we go With the high center of gravity and also suspension, it does hold it from tipping over, so I am happy with the suspension on this. So, I'm not sure how much timber this is. Obviously, we'll keep on it because the furniture we've got it, so we can make use of it, and there's plenty of trees to cut down. Plus, actually, once these trees start to grow in our what they call our mega forest. Once they start to sprout, we can plant some more trees down because we do got a tree plant. We still got we did buy a full pallet when we did them, and I think somewhere over there is another partial pallet. So remember that's like 240 saplings over there as well. So plenty of timber. So that is 20. 4,000. So that would last, um, let's say 900 litres they used a month. So that's about a year's worth of timber we've just supplied to them. So that's good. They're good for now, like That production is. Obviously, we're not heavy to make furniture. We've got all the other productions that would need wood and materials from the old school mill, like the barrel factory, the shingles factory. They all need that. So but yeah, the road coaster that is coming along. See that section there of the road coaster is done now, so it's starting to take shape. Getting the foundations in. So, what do they need at the moment for this step? Yeah, they've got all the things they need. Actually, they could do some more floor tiles, so. Because I'm lazy, and I don't fancy transporting a hit or driving it over. There are some floor tiles. And also the money's gone down because I did take out a... T this is a temporary loan. And I've gone and bought this little forest area over here. Yeah, that's awful. Just got to look at those trees out in the way of our fields and that, so... Yeah, just pull that. There's 40 grand debt, and that's going to be very cleared off within the next five minutes or so. So, so I think we've got four pallets, maybe. I think four pallets spawn up, and maybe a fifth one ready to spawn. So, go over here. Excuse me, sir. You want to get my way? Thank you. Also, no, no, a fifth pilot ain't quite ready yet to spawn, but these are going to be still more than enough. And we'll get a couple of ground for them as well. So we'll go ahead and take these over to the road coaster. Okay, so be careful here. That one is going to tip off any moment now. Thankfully, it's a short distance to the road coaster, so yeah, it's got enough floor tiles for this step. But I might as well supply them with a bit more because they, these floor tiles have to go into the boat yard. So 
bridges across here. Oh, there he goes. Okay, no worries, so we go and pick that up. Are we not taking any more floor tiles? You're good. Fair enough, so... I thought it was taking more floor tiles, but I guess it's not. Yep, that's all the four tiles it's going to need for now, so... I can leave... I'll leave them over here for now. Because worst case scenario, we can pick them up and take them to the boat yard for when we want to make our boat number two. Yeah, boat number two, or... Yeah, we'll figure out something with those four tiles, don't worry about that. as well take it over to the boat yard and just see if it needs it. I very much doubt it does need it, but again, could just leave it by there. So we'll take it as and when it's needed, and since we do get <coughs> money from, sorry about that, we have frog in my throat, so yeah. Even if it doesn't take it now, could just leave it there and it will suddenly take it as and when it's needed. And since we're over here, I can always have a look at it now and we'll see second step or not. I think it's still on its first step so I'm concerned about it getting where yeah I am getting a bit worried it's gonna be done for March. Oh yeah that is coming along very nicely. So yeah second all the four tiles. But yeah that is coming along very nicely. We're still I think maybe about two or three months out, I'm thinking. So that I'm concerned about. Hopefully, it doesn't affect our payment for that, but yes, perhaps we're a bit delayed in getting materials to them, uh, get a bit of a tight deadline, but can't really do much else. But yeah, so we'll go and take this up here now. So yeah, three containers. We did put actually put one log into the yellow container. So we're going to lose about five grand, so yeah, we'll take this over and see how much money we can get from this. So, there we go. So, last time we got 170 for two containers, so I think it would say 245 grand we're going to get from this. 241, so yeah, that was a bit of a deduction there. I think, yeah, about five, eight grand too sure. But yeah, so we'll go and return you. But yeah, 244 grand. So that is enough now for the sheep pen and the sheep. So I am happy with that, but we're not quite ready yet for the sheep because we still need to do a bit of rock picking and pick them up. So, but yeah, so we got three, six, eight. 9,000 years of long planks, 6,000 years of beams, and three prefabricated walls. Do we have anything up here? No, we do not. That's the thing like, like that. Actually, taking that little forklift ain't ours, it's part of sawmills or part of the towns. So we could do looking at that again one for ourselves, or at least a second one. That's 50 grand. Ah. Won't do anything about it now. So yeah, let's go ahead to the rock picker. Yeah, left it on side of the road when I actually tipped it. So we'll get over to the grass field and then we will resume. It shouldn't take too long, I think it's about Four or so, four or five rocks we need to pick to get at least the area that we are working on at the moment cleared, and then we'll resume from there. 
there we go. So, yeah, I took it to the shop. Um, thankfully, this was at the shop, so, yeah. Much, probably it was a good minute or two on our journey, so. So, yeah, in terms of the zones we need to pick, so it's one, two, three piles. So, yeah, one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. Any more around here? No, nope, just the four, so that's good. And yeah, I do love this little tool here. It just adds a difference, it has a variety of game. I think at least it does. In the sound. Now, first of all, I thought sound was a bit annoying, but you sort of grow quickly, you quickly grow accustomed to the sound, so. But yeah, also, as I'd say, as I've recorded this episode, I think we're on episode 8 now. Episode 6 is just about to be released today, on Monday, so yeah. <coughs> again, like, again, get a couple of recordings ahead. Off each episode, I won't go too far, so I'll give some time for someone to, if any comments I do get on these videos. But year two platinum, well, not year two, year two season passes out, or at least well, was it? It was leaked on the like, sort of leaked teased where it quit on Steam. But yeah, if I get the yeah, if I get the info up here, there we go. So yeah. Pack 1, which is due to be released in quarter of year 1, or oh, 2023, sorry. It's taking Bane a step further. I'm thinking that potentially could be either some, something like with like Maze Plus, perhaps, or with Maze Plus, with Bane in Maze Crop, or it could have been Corn Stalks, or yeah, something to do with Corn Bells and that. I'm not too sure on that. And then pack two, it says Machines to rule the mountains. Hopefully this is something to do with some forest, like some equipment will help with us here. Or it could be a extension or another part to the other point you'll see that we had in FS19, that's part of the base game in 22. Or something like that. Pack 3, it says a bonus pack, so we've got no idea what that is. And then pack 4, it says equipment into improve productivity. And to me, that looks like manure heat, but it little seams coming off manure, and then I think that's like some form of a shovel, perhaps. So maybe hand tools or something we're going to get, or. Yeah, I'm not too sure what that could be. Be interested in what it is. If it's hand tools, would be good to have because again, it's one of those things that has been requested. I don't know, like on my CP's Discord server, me as a moderator always joke about with like Alan Schultz modding about some of his hand tools packing out, like joking around and teasing him about it, and then. Big expansion five is a new map. Explore a new map with lush, new, exciting crops. So obviously that shows a carrot there, but I'm taking the word crops as plural, not singular. So perhaps I'm not sure. I was looking at the like the little teaser. It's or at least a screenshot. I'm not too sure what it could be. It could be. European, like European vibe or rustic American. Yeah, it's hard. To, it's hard to judge, but actually, we will detach you. But yes, we'll get this over to our wood chip pile. We'll leave this there. We we'll keep on get the attacher for the, the laser forge pickup, and then we'll pick up the stones. Add in pressure. Get a bit of life and then sell the line. 
So, alright, but before we actually go ahead and do that, we're going to pick up the streets part of this contract. That's because of. I had to figure out a way to spend like 10 minutes because controller on my PlayStation was going low, the battery was going low, so I thought it was going to do this for about 10 minutes whilst it was charging, so now it's all good. So thankfully it's not too far up the lane, we're backing up just because this is a super tight area to get a proper trailer in here, so. See the pollocks over there. No turn way too early. See it the first one of the nine logs for the other um plot um other plot land we've got loaded up and we put them on to the back so just trying to think about weight distribution so it doesn't go all crazy on me so there we go, something like that will do. I'll say it'll take about three loads. I should perhaps we could. Oh no, don't go down the hill. That's five, nine, so yeah. Two more after this, so we'll get this on. No, 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 do all that. No trader. No, 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 no. And I screwed this up. Lovely. This is what I hear about doing. That's it. Down the title, say, using the. There we go. You know what? That one lock will pick up afterwards. Now, rest we will get on. Yeah, using the sort of big bag handler, it's hits the downside with straps, it can catch. We you try to like, be super precise with it, if you're not as careful, you will bugger it up, so. You know what, we'll just get these five. Yeah, because again, as well, because I didn't pick them up perfectly straight, that's why they're twitching like, on the perfect 9 degree angle. But don't get me wrong, this is still very helpful, it has helped us a lot on this series. It's drawbacks, but it has its limitations in terms of usability. Well, in the amount of money we could get. The massive Volvo one, the massive tree picker, like the bigger version of this, picks up all the massive trees. I think also we could look about possibly get the bigger our tree harvester just because of the limitations again we're having with the width of the logs that we can cut. Because you can see sometimes with certain ones, it'll go like the circle goes from rather than like orange. Or faint yellow to green, it'll go to red. That means we can't pick up that tree because it's too big for the harvester. We use the excavator if you want to. No, I can just use it on this SP series. Yes, it's multi, multi-purpose and all that, but yeah, I'm not too sure. Not too sure on the exact route we would like to go with this, but. But it's what it is, so get that tree on, and then I'll see you folks down by the sawmill. So, where we'll get 50, maybe 51 pounds if we're lucky, and plus the 20 or so grand from these two contracts together. Is it 20 grand we're gonna get? No, 16 grand, sorry. 16,300 quid. Ah, this is going to be on 
tree in there. And there we go. Got back down safely. Had one little loose moment, but I actually managed quite fine for once. Actually, not tipping the entire thing. So our camera has a win for us. So you've got to take this to the sawmill, which is just over there. Could go around, well actually we should go around, we can of course enter through this way. It's not really any good crossing, perhaps down there perhaps, but... Cut straight across, and then like so. So yeah, we'll get about sixty grand, sixty thousand three hundred and fifty quid in total, I think. If I get into the trigger right, all through seven quid, not fifty. So yeah, close enough. Fourteen, fifteen thousand three hundred, not sixteen. Look at that, two fifty-seven nine nine nine. One pound short off, bang on two hundred fifty-eight grand. But yeah, so we picked these rocks up from all the rock picking we've done since the last time we fed that. So that's in here, twelve thousand four hundred thirty-eight liters. Plus, we're going to have about another five or so thousand is going in here. So, this won't take too long. And then we'll go and start placing stuff down, I think. Where's the train? A few trains just gone past, they're all good. one rock pile. So in theory this should just work. There we go. Like so. Now we'll look for the other patches of rocks. No, that was a bush I got tripped by. Whoopsie. That's two. And then three and four. So we was on at twelve thousand four hundred, so actually that's six thousand a year, so we actually get more than this should be full. Yeah, that's eight thousand. Nice. So yeah, we'll get this, yeah, we'll yeah, actually quick get this fed to the, um, what's it, my bob? Ah, uh, the same crusher. Pretty sure we can go this way, in theory. Ouch. Yeah, the word in theory. Well, I mean, you should. Not necessarily. Oh, that's one of those weird trees there. Perhaps I with yeah. That's giving me an idea, obviously. Try to get a couple we do have like some bridge packs we do have on the mod up, so Yeah, let's go ahead and Get a little bridge in there, clear a little pathway then. Yeah, so I have a pathway that goes to connect to this part of the land. But yeah, that will be really exciting, I think. But, anywho. Stones is going to go in. And there we go, 
that's done. So that is 46,000 litres of light we've got there. Which ain't too bad for a hole, actually. Nothing's popped up in the used market. Got another tree transport contract to do. Actually, well, since we're here, let's go and clear this up a bit. Again, what do you buy the conveyor belt? Because we could just go up to the mine shaft of this and pick all up the ore like this, perhaps, but nah. We'll do it semi properly. So that's a good 10,000 litres of iron ore there. Oh, we've got another metal pallet, that is good to see. Topped up. I'll take all of it. Oh, not quite, but you. Yeah, give it till the end of the day, I will. Let's go. Yep. Yeah, we've got enough money now. We'll stop messing around. And I think, yeah, it's really about time we go and get all this done. I think this would be a very good area for the sheep pens. Get a shell or two in, do a bit of landscaping work, and then Bob's your uncle. Obviously, we'll, we'll put a shell in, it ain't going to be for all the equipment. We will go and extend the yard, I think we'll do that next time. There goes the train once more. Choo choo! Yeah, just get all this out of the way, so yep. I'm going to get all this done, folks. And then I'll see you once we are done. Looks a bit of patchy, rough patch down now. I guarantee once I'm done, it's going to look a lot better. Had me down for the count. I was on nine, nine all the time. Shattered soul, you took control. Now I'm gone, bye bye, bring the fire You took something beautiful and made it something cool That's all that I get from you You're so delusional, now watch me take control more money but it is worth it so first of all always got the sheep pen in we've got sheds we did a bit of landscaping and actually i very much like this and put a fence in yet yeah, because i want to see what we do with the forest in the coming episodes because potentially what we may decide to do is again create a little track create a little path in that like, hooks up to I'll say we'll go up to this path here rather than go around because obviously of access issues. Plus, well, with all the trees we planted. Oh, yeah, we didn't plant trees here, didn't we? Because of the limitation. But we'll leave this pretty much this area here that's been forest grounded. That is going to be our forestry area. So, yeah, create a little path here then. Yep, simple. We'll loop around. And then perhaps we'll, yeah. If you get that path in, we'll work on this. 
Actually, once we get a bit more cash flow in, I think we will create a proper turn off here rather than just see a tie things up. So we've gone and done that. We've got our sheep heading. We've got no sheep yet, so we need again more money for sheep. Because how much is a sheep pen? I'll go to our sheeps. Yeah. No, we went with this one. So yeah, 250 sheep. So yeah, potentially we could get some lambs in. I think we could, if we get a mixture of lambs. So yeah, I think, say we get 50 of each, so that's going to be five, that's one grand, so that's ten grand. No, it's not ten grand, right? Fifty. So I'm start by five, that's a thousand. Ten. Yeah, ten thousand. So yeah, it looks about potentially somewhere in... I've pretty much got the money now, I think, for the sheeps. But also, we've put a little silo in so we can actually store the grass, because yes, technically we could keep the grass in the forage wagon and it wouldn't do anything but it'd be good to have something just to store stuff in oh actually as well yeah just checking that but then lastly we have put a bunker so down decent size very well perhaps even bigger than we actually need to we're gonna do this much grass work and size work but you never know so yeah, that'd be good there, just get some silage in, and then we can always store it in here, or sell it straight away. Depending on the prices, yeah, we ain't gonna do cows in this series. Cows, pretty much for now, I've ruled out. Only other animals we may do is, like, sh sheep, and even maybe dabbing some horses, like some horse on the hills and that. That'd be very good to see, just go around the horses, just explore the map on a horse. But yeah, I am very happy with how this is looking up as well. Yeah, I went a bit over with the forestry grant, but again, we can always work on that at some point. And it's just on the line of the grass. Well, we did think cuts on the grass like here it was from the pylons. So we lost a tiny bit of grass, but not a lot. But again, I think it's worth it. So yeah. That is where we're going to leave it today. So next time, we just get some more wood chopped down, do some work on the yard. It's our main yard up here. See, so yeah, we've got gravel down. So yeah, get get rid of some of these stumps. Get some sheds in. See, so yeah, I think if you get like a shed along here, perhaps get some fences in, just to make it look more neat, neat and tidy. Yeah, there's still quite a few stumps around. But yeah, this was a 250,000 yard work and it was worth every penny. So yep, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button, feel free to comment down below. If you want to share with us, then please be a guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But for you choose to do, hope everyone has a nice day. But for now, just be fine with the stream. And I'll see you all very soon.